Hey guys, what's up? It's Corey. Um, I'm not going to add a whole lot of commentary to this gameplay, mainly because I just want to play it. Um, so this is the only commentary I'm actually going to add. Well, this part and then at the end of the game. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the Darkness 2 gameplay. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget, I love you. Okay, you know how this story starts. In the beginning, there wasn't shit. Literally, nothing but void and darkness. And that's how the darkness liked it. It wasn't until God decreed, turn on the lights, that things got nasty. It started off small. A, a, a planet here, a, a sun there, you, you know. Next thing you know, there were humans and cows and, and, and then stuff running all over the place. Needless to say, the darkness was pissed. From then till now, the darkness tore its way through the world, inhabiting one human host after another, each thinking that they were its master. But you can't own the darkness. The darkness owns you. Fast forward to one Jackie Estacado. You know his type. No family, no hope, no future. He ended up about what you'd expect, busting heads for the Franchetti crime family. Life as a whole was pretty dark for Jackie. Then came his 21st birthday, and, and things got a whole lot darker. And then you, you, you might think that inheriting superpowers would, would be pretty cool for Jackie, you, you know, being in the business of killing people and all. And if not for the demon living inside of him, you'd be right. See, the darkness it didn't just make Jackie stronger, it, it, it made him a god. But only when lights were out. Next thing you know, the mob turns on Jackie, marks him for death, just like that. It was the New York City mob versus Jackie. And the darkness. But as dark as things were for Jackie, there was a light in his life. And, and, and her name was Jenny. Now, now, now these kids, they, they went way back. I don't think anybody would disagree that they were meant for each other. If anything, that's the real tragedy in all this. See, the mob was still after Jack. Now, they thought the quickest way to get him would be to take away, you know, his, his only reason for living. Killing Jenny was just about the dumbest thing the mob could have done. See, because without her, Jackie not only had nothing left to live for, he had nothing left to lose. As for the darkness, Jackie's kept it locked away for years, you know, but it doesn't matter how hard he tries. No one can hold back the night. If he can't control this thing inside him, pretty soon there won't be anything left. Jackie will be nothing but an empty shell. And that's just how the darkness likes it. Right around the time he died, my father said to me, he said, Jackie, you can't outrun your fate, but you sure as hell gotta try. I didn't really know what he meant back then. See, there was something inside me, something terrible, waiting to get out. And when it did, it made me watch the only thing I ever cared about, get her brains blown out right in front of me. Then it gave me the power to make things right. The kind of stuff you only see in your worst nightmares. The killing only made it stronger. Harder to control. Eventually, I found a way to bury it. But ever since, it's been trying to get back out. It calls itself... The Darkness. Jackie, it's good to see you. Come on in. Hiya, Vinny. How's your family? Which one? Hey, Jackie. Check out the rack on the brunette to your right. No, no. Your other right. That's his left, dipshit. Hey, Jackie, check it out. They put up a picture of your dad. 
He was a good man, your father. Good man. Well, look, this ain't no time to be depressed. Come on, boss. They got your usual table ready. Twins are waiting for you. Terrific. Hey there. Hey, yo, Paul, you got your them tickets to the game. My treat. All right, take care. Joey, what's what? Oh, Mr. Galvani, nice to have you back in town. This ravioli's too spicy. I can't My taste the flavor. Oh, Billy, how you doing? Not bad. Hey, waiter. I'll take this to go. I don't think it's too sweet. Chop, chop, I gotta run. Let's go. Oh, sorry about that, Gaston. Here you go, boss. Bon appetit. Hi, Jackie. Remember us from the candy club? Well, do you? Sure he does. Trust me, ladies. I wish I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! Jackie, get down! Jackie, you stay with me now. Oh, shit, look at his leg. Benny, what are we doing? You guys take point. I'm gonna pull Jackie out back. Jackie, listen to me. I'm gonna pull you out back, but you gotta take this. Keep these guys off our ass. Benny, I'm gonna slaughter these pigs. Jackie, come to the dark. Catch my breath. Oh, you gotta give me a second, Jackie. I ain't been to the gym in weeks. Ah, Jesus Christ! Keep him off our backs! Oh! I see you, you fuck! Boss, listen to me. I can see the kitchen from here. We can make a break for it, but you gotta take both pieces so I can lift you up. All right. Let's go. Smell gas! Hurry up, Vinny! They're in there! That's us. Quick, give me a lighter. Burn in hell, Estacado! Embraced. 
to die was Jackie. Yes. I feed! just happened, Benny? Who hit us? I don't know, boss. I don't know. After the explosion, I saw some guy with a limp. He had some weird-looking fucks with him. I, nobody I recognized, though. Where'd that piece of shit go? Uh, they headed down the alley. The rest of our crew's out front, so you can meet up with them on the street. But I'll be right there. I just... just need to get my wind back. Give him hell, Jackie. Staccato. He's over here. You're not so tough now, are you?
See if you can open that box up there. Down and down! I see it! Turn it to pieces! Into the subway. Who the fuck are these guys, Jackie? We'll make sure nobody follows you. Jackie!
Then it gets all jumbled and weird, and people think you're nuts! Come find me, Jackie. Hello. Tony, Tony, what happened? Did you find the guys who hit us at the restaurant? Sometimes I can't tell the difference between a fruit and a vegetable. Jesus Christ, what is this place? Like I always do. What the hell's going on, Tony? Hell if I know, boss. Look, we gotta get out of here. You go in your limo, and I'll go ride in the car with Vinny. He busted up a couple of ribs, but he's gonna be fine. The first time you use the darkness, it scares you. But once you've tasted it, you can't stop. That's all you think about. Like I said, it consumes you. Every second of every day for the last two fucking years, I kept myself in check. Gritted my teeth and kept it buried. Oh, now it's back. And I can feel what it's doing to me. So, uh, I guess setting you up with the twins didn't go so good, huh? Yeah, no shit. I'm glad you're all right, Vin. Now, can you tell me what the fuck just happened? I don't know. I saw some weird-looking guy had a limp. It was crazy. Like, one minute he's there, the next minute the guy just fucking disappears. I don't know. I must have hit my head or something. Look, anyways, Jimmy says he's got a lead on the crew that hit us. Good. I'll find Jimmy. Tell him to meet me in my office. I'm gonna head upstairs. Yeah, sure. Whatever you need, Jackie. Just talking about you. Glad you got your uh, mojo back. Let's send a message to these fucks that think they can hit us. Hey, you got that right. We're ready whenever you need us, boss. with her memory, Jackie. Jenny would never have wanted this. It scares me that you're so much like your father, Carlo. He could never let things go. And Sarah, I'm fine. How many times I gotta tell you? You're a terrible liar, Jackie. Sometimes, sometimes I, I think I see her. And it's like, it's like she's not gone. But she is gone, Jackie. You buried Jenny years ago. I know, I know. 
Listen, Aunt Sarah, thanks for looking out for me, but I'm okay, all right? Just got a lot on my mind right now is all. Fine. You ever get the balls to actually talk about all this, come see me in my room. All right, fine. You want to bust my chops, then let's talk. What do you mean, like my father? I loved your father. Everyone loved Carlo. He just had that way about him. But before... before we lost him, he couldn't let things go. He became obsessed, and that obsession consumed him, Jackie. I don't want to see the same thing happen to you. Obsessed with what? It... it's not important. It, you just have to let go, Jackie. You have to move on with your life. I am, Aunt Sarah. I am. You really are the worst liar I've ever met. And I grew up with thieves. So what then? I'm seeing ghosts? I don't believe in ghosts, Jackie. But I do believe in being haunted. You need to man up and let all of this go. You're right. How come you're always right? Comes with age, kiddo. I'll talk to you later, Aunt Sarah. You know where to find me. Time to hit these fuckers back. Those fucks are gonna pay. How's things with you? Hey, boss. So what's what? I want you to go find somebody for me. Johnny Powell. Lives down by the Queensboro Bridge. You find him and bring him back here. Johnny Powell? Ain't that the guy that used to help you out with that thing of yours? He was a weird fuck. Whatever happened to that guy anyway? It don't matter. I need him back. Go bring him by for a visit. And hey, you don't have to be nice to him. Whatever you say, boss. I'll have the new guys go get him. Oh, hey, uh, Jimmy's waiting for you in your office. He's got a lead on the guys who hit us tonight. Thanks, Finney. Anytime, boss. Let me know if you need anything else.